Guys, today I will be reviewing about the Simplex 2099-9103. Okay guys, so today we'll be reviewing about the Simplex 2099-9103 Brake Glass Dual Action Pull Station. But which is, this one's a really nice pull station. I already got this one since five months ago. Five months ago, sorry. So, which is really nice. Um... For some reason, um, the model number. So the model number right here is A B C no G P A B C D E F G has locked per. That that's that's the wrong model number. But the model number should be twenty ninety nine ninety one zero three. And this one is a brake glass pull station. So you pull it. Yeah, all you all you literally have to do is you're gonna take your hammer, smack it like a couple times, and pull down. So let's go ahead and pull it. So basically, if you pull down this pull station, this one has the groove, like this groove here. So some 4051 20s, they have like um some smooth bars. No, not not like not, not like one of these, but the different one, like like the the metal pull station has like one of these, but I don't know. So, so, to reset it, you want to take your Simplex B key, turn it, and open it. So, basically, if you um, open up the pull station, this handle right here flaps up. Here's look. Here it is, so you can look on the inside. Oh, um, I'm afraid that's really hard to close it. Oh. There you go. So you can see this pull station is labeled in red. So here's the back of it. We're going to wire this up later after this, after the, after the review. So as you can see, we're going to read at the top says fire alarm. Let you know this is the fire alarm device. Pull down simplex. And once again, never pull the fire alarm or never pull any fire device unless these are your own or you have permission or it's an actual fire. So we're gonna look in the inside. I'm just gonna give you the model number. I'm, no, I'm gonna look in the inside for you. Since you guys wanna look in the inside. In the inside we have this button. So some simplex buttons can have like one of these metal things, but usually these buttons could be in white. But this one does the click and all that. Let's go and close it. Really nice. Okay, so as you can see, this fire alarm could be like a dual action pull station. Even though they don't need the knocker, the one can says push and pull down. So, like, this is what you're doing. Look, push, pull down. Yes, and this one is spring-loaded. Oh, ow, I can show you that. Yep. And I'm going to look in the inside. We can look at the spring. So the spring. So basically, if you open up the pull station. This spring right here. If you, want, if you, if you don't want the spring, you can literally you can take it out if you want to. But now this pull station does not have the spring you guys don't like. You guys don't like so let me go ahead and place it in and then and after that you can close your pull station okay so now I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna so basically if you if you, let's say if you put a brake rod in so this one did came with one brake rod so basically, if you want to put the brake rod in inside the pull station, it could be really hard to pull. But yeah. 
So I'm going to show you this. So this is where the breaking rod will go, right there. So basically, if the pull station could be really hard to pull, which means that this pull station or the brake rod prevents you from pulling it. So yeah, that could be really hard if you like pull it. If you like pull it really hard, with the brake rod gets in. Um, it's really hard to close. There you go. Okay. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, I connected the Gentex Commander 3 to the Simplex pull station. So as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and pull the fire alarm and the horn and the strobe will go off. Even though I have tape in the inside. You guys don't care about it. So we're going to and go ahead and pull the fire alarm and see how it's supposed to work. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's really nice. So let me go ahead and key activate. So basically, if you key activate, the, if you key activate the fire alarm, like the, this Gentex strobe or Gentex Commander Three horn, it will sound off. No, if the if you act key activate the alarm, the horn strobe will go off. Let's do this. Three, are you ready? Three, two, one. Hold on. There you go. Okay. So this is actually really cool. So basically, if you pull down the pulse station, it will activate the alarm. Just like this. No. Okay, that's doesn't. This one doesn't close all the way. Oh, hold on. There you go. Yeah, that that pulse this pulse station is really hard to um really hard to like close it like all, and all of this stuff. So let me show you some difference. So I don't worry, it will not sound out, it will not sound the alarm. Basically, if I pull down the pulse station, you can't put it back up. So yeah, that's that's not good. So let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm. Or I can say key activate. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah, that sounds really cool. So usually this Gentex Commander 3, I cut, I have tape on it and the strobe doesn't keep going, so we're going to hand pull it again. Here we go. Hold on. And I'm holding down the button. There we go. Let's do key activating. Okay, so as you see, this is really nice. So I connect to a Gentax Commander 3 in the pull station. All right, so let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm now. Or I can say key activated. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm so the horn and the strobe keeps going. 
No, did the horn in the pull station? Let's go ahead and pull it. Too hard to stick in these keys in. There we go. But this one works. So basically, if I turn the simplex B key right here, and basically if it activates, the alarm will sound. But well, let's go ahead and just pull. Let's go ahead and key activate it again. This time. Oh, there you go. So that's that. So that is the review about the Simplex Pulse Station. But thank you guys for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Of course, the Gentax Commander. Of course, the Gentax Commander Three. I have to unscrew some wires. Have a good day.